Tomorrow night, New York's budget will officially be a week late. If lawmakers haven't gotten a deal done by then, there is some cautious optimism today that they are at least close now. But the way it's happening is raising concerns in Albany and around the state. Channel 2's Ron Plants joins us from the Information Center with a look at where things stand. Hello, Ron. Hi, Scott and Mary Ellis. First off, some political observers like Carl Calabrese telling us that he's hearing there may be a state budget agreement announced in the next 24 to 48 hours with the harder points like bail reform and the bill stadium funding already worked out. The Wall Street Journal also reporting that bail reform is resolved. There could be another extender tomorrow for pay for state employees if that budget deal does not come down until Friday. Now, Calabrese says finishing touches will be put on a state gasoline tax holiday or freeze, which should be popular for all state politicians in an election year for their constituents, considering the high price of gas. Also, apparently, there may be something to be worked out on long-term health care. But any new deal is, according to the Albany Press Corps, being worked out by three people in the room, the governor and the state senate and assembly leaders, with really few, if any, details given out during the negotiations. Kind of sounds like the stadium talks. Now, some say that closed-door approach may run counter to the governor's own stated policy when she took office last year of replacing Andrew Cuomo. And we asked some analysts if that could affect her in this election year. Transparency will be the hallmark in my administration. Transparency is always going to be an issue with state budgets because there are always going to be some private negotiation. They're going to go on and can't be helped. Uh, and the, the question is whether the product at the end is, is uh, satisfactory to the public and, and uh, whether the voters would support something like that. She made a big deal out of that, and it looks like the same old, same old. I would imagine whoever the Republican nominee is for governor uh, after the Republican primary, that that will be an issue. You will see that made an issue going into the fall campaign. Okay. And she is vulnerable on it, there's no question. But again, in the long run, both pointing out New York State with its strong governor approach has always operated this way when it comes to its budgets, whatever people may say. And again, without any talk at all of any tax or fee increase in this budget, it may not be that big of an issue for the voters. So again, maybe a state budget deal tomorrow or Friday, according to some. We'll see. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.